everybody, this is the Make Code Arcade Advanced live stream with your host Vivian. I'm Vivian. I'm at Live Trip on the Make Code Forums. I'm Joey at J Wonderl in the Make Code Forums. And I'm Shannon at Chacal in the Make Code Forums. <laughs> cool. And we are making a game today where we are going to be. Wait, okay, so have you guys played Spelunky? You guys meaning Shannon and Joey? You guys meaning chat? What is the general Spelunky level? <laughs> Um, I've played, I think, Spelunky one once. Are you good? Are you good at Spelunky? What was your take, Shannon? Um, it was hard. It is hard. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were gonna say like I played Spelunky one once and I beat it first try and never played <laughs> that's it again. I thought I'm like, dang, that's why Shannon's a PC gamer. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I played it on um a console. Oh, Joey. I played it, yeah. Did you amount. beat it? Um, I beat at least like there's several different routes yeah. and stuff, but I beat at least once. One or one or two, both. Um, one is what I'm thinking of. I played two a little bit, not oh, too much. Oh, okay. Well, I've played what one. You? I've only played oh, one a little bit, and it's um. <laughs> It's like a frustrating thing. I feel like I could put the time into getting better at it, but it's way easier to just watch somebody else play it. So I've been watching a lot of people play Spelunky 2, which I hear is harder. But then like yesterday after dinner, I was like, oh, may as well just crack out the old Spelunky. And I did better than before I started watching a bunch of Spelunky content. Anyway, I thought it'd be fun if we did a Spelunky game. And I feel like... Instead of doing like the things that make Spelunky fun, like the enemies and the lives and stuff, I'm more interested in doing the tile map stuff. So in Spelunky 2, you have like the caves and you have like doors that are like locked off to you. Like you can't get to every one of them, but there's like a secret cave network behind it. So I thought it'd be fun to do the tile maps to link those up and then maybe do some procedurally generated things <laughs> we'll see how far we get <laughs> yeah um, it's gonna me, be great <laughs> yay okay i feel like the amount of times that we say we're gonna do procedurally generated stuff and the amount of times that we actually do it they're very different things wait i don't i don't get it <laughs> vivian does a lot of procedurally generated that's true stuff, though um, okay maybe maybe vivian's the one that, that follows through when Commits. Mm -hmm. What do you? What do? You, what? How do we usually fail at doing procedurally generated stuff? I'm concerned. Oh, just like we say that we're gonna do it, and then at the like ten minutes ago, we're like, oh yeah, we wanted to make this procedural. Uh, oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> Is there a way to make a tile map like this many tiles across and tall? Or no. okay, cool. Um, that's fine. We're going to set a variable that's like new tile map. Hmm. No, no, no. Cave level. <laughs> and we're just going to make it a certain size. We're, we'll, we'll set us some like boundaries first so that we can get something done. And then and then hope that's enough. So maybe maybe. OK, what do we what do we what do we want? We want a place to start. We want a place to end. And maybe the whole point is you try to find how to get from place to place with the doors um, that are locked off with the cave networks maybe that's fun by itself um okay so first off let's make a door <laughs> we gotta start off basic i feel like no need to sweat the small stuff door will arcade slow down if i use a lot of memory but not a lot of sprites will it well, I guess I was, I was going to answer that in the chat, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> they sh shouldn't. Um, if you're using a lot of memory, the main thing is that you might be using that memory a lot, right? You might be doing a lot of computations based off of that memory, and that would make it slow down potentially. But if it's just the existence of memory, it probably shouldn't on in the simulator. On hardware, it potentially could. Mm. On hardware, it won't necessarily slow down. It'll just if you it'll crash, right? If you use too much. Um, I mean, it will definitely crash if you use too much. Um, I would be a little bit more suspicious of garbage collection taking up time and like memory allocation taking up time in the hardware. Like if you have a big array in, on hardware, uh, it'll take a little bit more time where the browser kind of just doesn't. 
quickly. So, sorry, Joey, I, I asked you to answer, and then I didn't pay attention to anything you said, but it was a very good answer. Answered okay. lots of questions. No, I'm used to that, baby. No, worry. Joey, is this why you don't come to stream? I'll, li I'll listen way better to you, Joey, I promise. You're going to be like, wow. Ooh, this I is a good cave door. I like the cave door. Oh, <gasps> Torches. So you know it's the exit. You go from a dark place to a light place. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what what joe oh sorry um okay so while we do this let's just set the tile map to be this one so we can get like the height the width and i know how to do this it is the bosi mm -hmm. what am i doing wrong where is oh it's a current tile map my gosh cave level set it here and then we're going to place a door and that's probably going to be in the regular scene category um place no set this at tile map something something we're going to set a door here okay let's do this let's set the platform at the top the platform at the bottom and we're going to do a four index from whatever and we're going to get the width of the tile map which is why we set it because otherwise we can't get this number and then we're going mm -hmm. to do a minus one mm -hmm. um um yes Shannon, why did you play Spelunky once and then never again? I'm so curious. <laughs> um, Richard was like, you should try Spelunky. It's fun as a multiplayer game. So we played it one time and then uh, I don't own Spelunky. Oh, so I see. have not replayed since. Wait, Richard's <laughs> a big fan of Spelunky? I think so. Sucks. Richard owns Spelunky and has played it a lot, I think. I mean, it's a, a roguelike and it's vaguely feels like a uh, metroidvania even though it's not it kind of like feels like yeah it. Mm. richard's really into a different one whose name i forget um is it the 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 enter the dungeon? yes the yeah yes okay. that one <laughs> <laughs> oh. wow vivian S that's Sorry. a good one <laughs> i don't play a lot of games but i watch a lot of youtube videos where people play games it's... That was just very impressive from my, my description of a different one. <laughs> I really want to play that one. I haven't gotten to that one yet. I think Spelunky, uh, Enter the Gungeon, and Binding of Isaac, but Richard does not like Binding of Isaac. Those oh, are like the three biggest roguelikes from like 10 years ago. <laughs> are you calling Richard? Oh. I mean, no, they're some of my favorite games too. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not like call them out and i'm just saying sure, that sure. they're like the original series of like popular roguelikes yeah popular indie roguelikes okay sure 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 oh my gosh what is happening here okay so i mean you should play hades <laughs> Ooh, yeah i feel like when you guys were talking about it i was like oh man i want to play it but i feel like i'm just going to end up missing missing the train on that one with the speed i move at you know and then the <laughs> That's hades should start <laughs> Yeah, I feel like maybe maybe somebody let me know two months before, you know, when the next the next big uh -huh. thing is coming out, <laughs> and I'll start mentally preparing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. What are we doing? We should fill. Should we fill everything up with background imagery, or is that silly? When we should just have a background image. I think you should have a background image so that you can see the plot. I don't know. What does Spelunky do? Um, does the background move when you jump? Or I think they have a whole background like tile. I think everything mm. looks like tiles. But yeah, but I don't think... hmm? the background's just kind of like you're in a cave. Yeah, but you know what? You know what? Let's just do let's just do like a background image. That'd be cute. Um, might be kind of a pain to do it when... May oh, it'll be useful to do it when we switch between, like, the main cave and the back cave, maybe? Not bat cave. Mm -hmm. Back cave. Um, but that's just black. You're not doing the bat cave, Vivian? <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it just looks so silly when this is brown. Ah, uh, yeah. And I don't know what to do about that. Should it be brown? And the rocks be a different color? Or maybe the tile map. Yeah, try making the rocks 
dark, like invert them. Do dark purple with brown in between. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. I'm not sure if this will work, but. Let's do this by switching this here and then <laughs> making this here. Maybe we like the pink. Maybe we like the pink. It's kind of cute. We like cute. It kind of looks kind of like insect-like energy. We don't like the pink. We don't like the pink. Um, we make this brown now. Let's see. Done. Ah, oh, you guys are discussing things in the chat. Okay. Um, maybe maybe this is what we do. We make the wall out here not brown. Maybe this fixes all our issues. We don't, do we do many like underground games? Is this why we're having trouble? <laughs> is this why I'm having trouble? Um, we've done some, I don't, I feel like we don't do natural rock a lot. We do like brick. Yeah. And by we, I mean Richard. Maybe we do like a castle theme game, right? This just looks unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Um... But, like, you know, sometimes you do got to judge a book by its cover. <laughs> and this book, is nobody's picking it up right now. So, here, let's just do some brick. Also, remembering that I'm not good at making brick. <laughs> here. You really got to just step it up to the next, this, uh, the next step of making the level. <laughs> Um, we'll put this in. I, I feel like I get where Richard's coming from where he's like, I hate the tile map, but the difference is Richard's tile maps look good when he say that and mine look disturbing. <laughs> um, let's just look at it and we're going to live with it. We're going to like it because yes, we're living with it. Ooh, that's really bright white though. We're living with it. We're living with it. Okay. Now, what else are we going to do? We Try want... making it tan. Try Sorry. making it tan. Thank you, Shannon. I was <laughs> like, I don't... <laughs> Tan and pink? No. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> and pink? Yeah, let's do pink. Sorry, I wasn't sure if you were reacting to changing it to tan or using pink instead. I was reacting to pink. Okay, yay. Let's try to make it a little oh. bit cuter, less scary. But also, you know, that's the scary thing. Is... This is cute, okay. I think. Yeah, we'll take we'll take that. And then maybe, okay, maybe the thing is we have like doors to a different galaxy dimension. So let's make the art for that. And then, wait, um, we should probably do the platforms. That's okay. This is a galaxy door. It's purple because that's the color of the galaxy. And then there's going to be stars on it for the nice. <laughs> galaxy. The wizard door. <laughs> Ooh. Do you think wizards' robes are purple because it's difficult to get purple dye so they're just like yeah i'll magic that in mm. oh, I, I thought they were purple because purple's pretty <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay that's that's fine okay and in the meantime let's do some random platforms so we'll say make a function and it's gonna be called make a platform and then we're going to have the number. It's going to be the column, which will be the X. We'll have a number that's the row, which will be the Y. And we'll have a number that's the width of the platform. And then, and then we'll just we'll just mm -hmm. do this for now. Mm -hmm. And then decide. Oh, maybe we, yeah, and then decide how we place the platform so that it's, you know, reasonable. Also, we don't have a main character, I just realized. Somebody, mm, okay, we'll just deal with that later. So we're going <laughs> to, we're going to do a, this, put the width in here. We're going to put, mm, okay, so wait, let me do, let me turn on, turn on my brain. Okay, a column is going to be here, and we're going to do a column plus index because, before we were starting at zero, so we didn't need to do with the column. Row is always going to be row. Put that in there. This needs to be a minus one. Put this in here. And then we're going to call our function. Make a platform at zero, zero. No, that's not right. Zero. 
Wait, oh, I mean, you deleted something. Deleted something? Where? The Wait, row, I, the... I think oh. I did that on purpose. Oh, because okay. Because check this out, function! Fun oh, function! Woo! <laughs> well, this is amazing. Nice. Right? We love functions. Okay, now, did I delete the... The door is certainly just off screen. Okay, yeah, we have object permanence. Nice. <laughs> we believe that the door <laughs> still exists. Okay, next up, let's just place some random platforms. We we can do this smarter later, maybe. Big strokes. So we're going to put four platforms there. We're going to call our function, make a platform at some random places. Random. And it's going to be top floor level wait this is the wrong one this should be in the y and then we'll be like the total number of rows that's total number of rows maybe we should do some minuses somewhere that's okay <laughs> <laughs> that's okay and then zero and then total of columns and then maybe afterwards we delete things from the top row and then that's how we like figure out where the gap Ooh. is yeah 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 cool oh wait, let's make our main character now so we can move around at least hmm so let's do who who's exploring who's exploring this maybe some okay shannon come up with an animal joey come up with a profession this is how we're doing this <laughs> <laughs> and i'll make the art hey i have an animal I got one stuck in my head that's like on theme, so I and I can't get rid of it. But it's just an obvious one too. Okay, so we will be drawing a Shannon beetle who is a archaeologist. Archaeologist beetle, nice. it's perfect. Okay, <laughs> because beetles are in the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like to dig and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> actually, I don't know much about Shannon. Do you know much about beetles? Not really. Okay. Um, they come in many colors. They were colors, popular many cool. years ago. <laughs> they were popular many years ago. I still a little. Oh, popular. I get. Um. <laughs> 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 <Sensible chuckles. laughs> um. Are ladybugs beetles? No. They, they got maybe. beetle vibes though. Yeah, oh. they seem like they could be. Maybe maybe beetles have horns i guess maybe be maybe ladybugs are closer related to like turtles or something they kind of got turtle vibes too <laughs> ladybugs are turtles not the beetles yes uh-huh correct okay. joey <laughs> <laughs> i i would i would feel like naturally would assume the other way around turtles are ladybugs yeah no beetles are turtles <laughs> oh okay Oh, they they are called lady beetles or lady bird beetles. Lady bird, I knew lady bird. Um, Small beetles, yep. Nice. Okay, what makes an archaeologist? <laughs> Definitely the hat. Hat. Yeah, okay. they have to have a brush, but also like a hammer and a chisel. Ooh, I like hammer. Wait, maybe that's like mm -hmm. the tool we pick up later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have some kind of goals. And we have to also think of some like base tools we give them and like different upgrades we can we're really we're really dreaming big <laughs> right now. We can give them a brush at first and then a blow dryer. Oh, this is so great, baby. Wait, so wait, Joey, you say brush and blow dryer? Is this an archaeologist or like a watercolor painter beetle? I need to clarify. <laughs> what is the blow dryer? Sure. Like you gotta, you gotta like no, you gotta brush off all the dirt and stuff so you can inspect it and see the hidden language that's on the ruins that you found. And what's the air dryer? Blow dryer. Uh, it's it's better than a brush. You just blow off the dirt. Who cares? Oh, that's how it upgrades. Yeah. I see. Is this from like those like elementary school activities where you like dig something out of a sandbox? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? That's that's my image of what an archae like a real life archaeologist does. Like, <laughs> me say I know like the TV show archaeologists and they're cool and all, but the only archaeologist I know is the dad in card capture soccer. <laughs> also, Indiana Jones. Yeah. I haven't seen Indiana Jones. <laughs> oh, 
So that was kind of presumptuous. Have you been to Disneyland and gone the Indiana Jones ride? Possibly the best ride at Disneyland? I Probably have. Not, I have. Possibly. That's a Disney movie? Vivian. Disneyland. I don't know. Vivian, please promise not to watch Indiana Jones until I am there and can watch it with you. <gasps> yeah, let's point. watch it together. I think we tried to watch it once. Um, I don't remember why I rebelled against it, but it didn't happen. <laughs> so we can watch it together. Uh, okay. We can watch Did it together. Did those ones age well? I, I yes, they're like so they might be... um, middle I mean, ones. I, I don't mean like in a goodness way. I mean like in an... Is there offensive stuff in them that... Um. Extremely kind of in the second movie, yes. Okay. Um, yeah. But um, first and third are reasonable. Um, but okay. yeah, it's it's very important that you watch these movies, Vivian. It's very important to me that I'm also there. Okay, I'm I'm excited for this. I feel like I've never been as excited for Indiana Jones as I have been in the prospect. <laughs> we'll have snacks. I'm assuming it's a snackable movie. Yes. Okay. Excellent. We'll Indiana Jones themed snacks. No. <laughs> Oh, what would you say are Indiana Jones themed snacks? I don't know any. Um, like cups? Mini cups? Yeah, you know. Hmm? <laughs> Mini cups? Is that Indiana Jones? <laughs> <laughs> um, that is Indiana Jones. Okay. But also, you could do the thing where you crumble up Oreos and you put gummy worms in it and it's like worms in dirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's archaeology. Is that... Okay, sure, sure, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try anything in the spirit of exploration. <laughs> um, in the meantime, I'm realizing that the, you'll fall right through this this tile map right now. So we're setting some walls. <laughs> Wait, Gideon Joey says it's a very good movie. Sorry, Gideon, Gideon, you've seen it. Do people watch Indiana Jones? It's just me who hasn't. I think many people have watched Indiana Jones. I think the other confusing thing about Indiana Jones is there are many movies with it. Okay. And then, like, you don't always say which one comes afterwards. I don't know the ordering of them. I don't even know how many mm -hmm. there are. Very confusing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's one of those where they did a bunch and then they did, like, some more later. So it's, like, big gaps and they're, like, different. Oh. Anyway, sorry. No. Uh, no. Um. So what should we do now? Should we make some gaps in the f top floor, or should we give the beetle some ability to carve? Maybe we do we invest more in our tile oh. map generation or skill in our character. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Wait, didn't you want to do the? The tile map connection? I, I do or... want to do the tile map connection. But, so yeah. So what's the fastest path to doing that? Probably just erasing one thing and our thing and then doing the tile map connection. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, that's a that's a plan. So we're going to be... Hmm, how do we make a function? Wait, so it's not this door that we're looking at. It's no. a different door. No, we're... Yeah, the galaxy oh. door, Shannon. Oh, right. I thought the galaxy door was the other side. <laughs> no, 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 no. The the other the exit is the torches. I see. The galaxy door takes you to the other dimension, which lets you move between <laughs> doors, which doesn't feel like a another dimension situation. It just feels like how doors doors mm -hmm. work. Um. Anyway, <laughs> so true. in the spirit of just getting something done, we're just gonna erase um a random part of the top platform so we can at least escape so we'll do like wait we don't need a repeat we need a this one with a number and we'll do a repeat from in to two and then we're going to just unset should we do a should we do an inverse of this one mm, unmake a platform <laughs> unmake a platform and we'll set wall off Okay, we're gonna have to think about the uh, placing the door, won't we? So you don't place it on top of a not wall. Placing a door? <laughs> oh, you mean for like the galaxy doors? Yeah. Yeah, I think maybe when we do that, we'll just redo this logic and do some smarter platform placement. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll unmake a platform at a random X position same top floor level position are we happy that we made this variable yet yes <laughs> and 
and then zero to width of the tile map. Um, hum, 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 hum. Oh, you mean you mean that where we erase it underneath the character, Joey? Yeah, mm -hmm. I see. Um, it's fine. This is an MVP to start with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's <laughs> let's just get get this done. <laughs> It'll work most of the time. I mean, if you fall through the ground at the beginning, it's kind of exciting, isn't it? Yeah, That's... I think so. Indiana Jones <laughs> vibes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All you need is a boulder that follows <laughs> after you. That was great. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we love that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so here, that worked. These are all one wide because <laughs> that's what I'm passing in. Yeah, that's what I'm passing in. So we're gonna make that a four wide platform. Let's just take take a look at our yeah, it's 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 stuff. We need to have an exit door someday, and let's do the jump now, so we have some movability. Joey, does oh, your yeah. does your extension utils have the jump gravity jump? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, J Wonderful, um, arcade sprite util utils util. <laughs> L mm -hmm. No X. You're just trying to teach people wrong things, Joey, and that's not what we're about. <laughs> Um, one second. Are we not about that? I can't imagine that we would put that in our about. We are about angry Vivian typing, so that's not quite the same thing. Yeah, yeah, but you're re re really testing me, Joe. <laughs> Don't worry. I guess it would have been angry Vivian typing if I got you to write the wrong thing. That's true. Uh, <laughs> let's. How many tiles do we want our per our person our beetle to jump? Two. Um, two sounds fine. And usually, I would give it a little bit of a plus, like an extra two or three pixels, because uh, <clears throat> otherwise, you'll just like hit the top, and you'll never really be able to get the uh, mm. jump. That's a that's a hot tip. Ooh. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're jumping at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, so we're gonna drag out the A button press, and then we're gonna. This make... is this is all of our faults. We watched you do this, and nobody <laughs> noticed anything. To be, I did notice it. I just thought it was funny. Mm, okay, thanks. Okay, I, Joe, I, I sure. It's a cute effect, right? It yeah. is. Yeah. Jumping beetles. I feel like, you know, a why <laughs> nice. okay a why Shannon says you know it's hard. This this is quote unquote it's hard to make a snappy platformer period it's hard to make a snappy <laughs> platformer making a platformer feel good is hard right shannon yes yes yeah yeah <laughs> so i'm not gonna worry that it doesn't feel like spunky <laughs> yeah like i feel like that's okay we're, we're more about making doors connect Mm -hmm. We're about bringing people together. <laughs> we are about bringing people. Or you know, closing the doors behind you too. One door opens, one door closes too. I'm sure that's how it works. Yeah. Yes. Or a window opens, <laughs> or you you um find the crawl space with weird things in it. The attic has sounds. Uh. Or, like, you open one door really, like, fast, and then all of a sudden the other one slams shut because, like, you know, you pulled it and you did the whole suction thing. I thought it was oh, scary. yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> I got you. Um, And here, what are we going to do? We are going to... Are we going to do some smarter platform situation? Ow, I just hit my glasses. <laughs> yes, we're going to do that. We're going to do a variable that's, like current platform y mm. we're going to set it to be top floor level plus two but that means we means we can't jump back up so maybe we increase our jump height by one more and then call that good because we don't want things to be right like boom you know that's yeah that's a little silly yeah so we're gonna <laughs> do this top floor level plus two and then we are going to, are we going to use a repeat? We can try to use a repeat. Yeah. 
and then we're going to um, wait I'm gonna put this in here and we're gonna make a platform at current platform Y and then we're going to change it by two so there there's gonna be platforms there's no guarantee that you can platform up or down because of the X situation right now, but that's mm -hmm. okay. Small steps. Oh. Oh. Oh, I, I have a proposal here. Yeah. Uh, Vin, uh, whenever we say current platform Y, can we just say current platform me? It, it, I feel like <laughs> we're all a little bit better. I like that. And I feel like, you know, we should just make it current platform me. <laughs> and we're not going to be confused. Wait, hold on. We are going to be confused by this. We're going to do this, and we're not going to be confused. Current <laughs> platforming, and then hmm, let's do let's do uh, while we're doing this, let's make a variable. We're not going to use it. Platform. <laughs> so, what do you suggest? You we call this one, Joey? Is this for what's this one for? For X. Uh huh. Um. If you put an E in between the M and the X, that feels kind of like it forms a word. I don't know what that would be, but. <laughs> we're not going to complicate this. <laughs> okay, and we're going to set current platform X to be a random one from zero to like. 100. I was thinking more like five. <laughs> and then we're going to set this here. And then we're going to do another variable. Last variable, probably. <laughs> Platform <laughs> width. We're going to set that to be four. Maybe we'll change it later. And then we change current platform x by four. And we also put another loop in here. Current platform x by platform width. We put a while in here while and then what are we wilding on while platform math we'll do a plus while the platform width plus the platform x is less than how wide it is we will place another platform that's what we're doing um so we're going to get a less than put this in here get a columns one is there going to be an off by one situation? Probably, 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 but I, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> probably will handle itself nicely. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. So we need it. Okay. So the only difference we have right now is where it starts. And then after that, it's going to fill it up. So we got to add some more gaps so we can change mm -hmm. the current platform X by four, which is the width. Ooh. And then we just stopped having platforms. Hmm. Well, Vivian, you got to be careful. It looks like you might be getting a copyright strike or something, like a cease and desist letter from chat soon because you got variable function names that pretty close to existing. Oh, from functions. Unsigned Arduinos? Yes, this is very <laughs> ins inspired by Unsigned Arduinos' strategy for their um seed game that we reviewed, mm -hmm. which was awesome. <laughs> um so what are we doing we're doing this plus a random gap between platforms which is going to be at least three could be up to nine for science reasons Ooh. yeah this is a well-tested number for platforming things okay oh this looks really good vivian really y yay <laughs> <laughs> okay wait do we still have the issue where we just stop having okay interesting is this because we this put is it because of the oh what oh sorry because of i we should go it's oh it's because of this oh oh <laughs> um well i'm glad she... you know we have some sanity here we're gonna get rid of this and put a while instead we're gonna just make it go to the bottom hey, yeah come i want all these blocks please excuse me is that all of them okay yeah sorry let's clean this up get, get out of here okay and then we're going to do this but instead of platform x we're going to get platform me instead of um we're just going to do current platform we 
is less than total time up rows and we're going to think about that if that's correct um rows mm, less than total time rows this was correct i don't know. we're just going to see if it looks right we're not going to think about it <laughs> Woo! yeah yay okay nice. and, <laughs> so now what are we going to do we're gonna percent chance put one of those galaxy doors. Have we done this before? Like we've done like a generated platform before, sir. Right? Yes, but not like we've done sort of like an infinite generated one, I think. Oh. Um, and also, Richard, that one where we were like a ghost finding like body parts, that one was generated. Oh right. Well, kind of feel like maybe we should have started. Eh, it's, it's too late now. <laughs> We've already dug this hole. <laughs> this hole is beautiful. It's a beautiful hole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so 20% chance we're going to put a door on this platform. So we're going to place... Okay, set this tile to be a galaxy door at... And it's going to be hmm, current platform X plus 2 because... Because we know it's at least four wide. So this is a reasonable number to place it at. And then the row is going to be the platform Y minus one. Because it's going to be one above. So put this in here. Change that to one. Find the right variable. Here. Plat platform me. Sorry, Joey. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> now we have doors. Doors doors yay okay nice now is you know the crux of the stream which is we're going to make a second tile map and i thought about this i was like oh how do we make the small tile map and then have it like line up no we're going to copy the entire tile map and section things off in a way that we want it to be sectioned that's how we're doing this so oh, I didn't understand that the levels matched exactly. So yeah. That's cool. Right? <laughs> it's like le levels. Levels, people. <laughs> it's like an elevator, but horizontal. And only two mm -hmm. floors. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway. Yes. What we're There's an update. Hmm? I just got oh. updated. Oh. You did? Oh. Uh, 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 when uh, did we get an update? Uh, what? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, it just opened a different project. That... Okay. We're good. That's fine. It has my 20% okay. chance. We're good. <laughs> you know, we are a high high pressure stream. Mm -hmm. high situations yes we're an action <laughs> movie um what was what were we doing oh yeah we're gonna grab out a copy am i missing it copy here we go a copy we're gonna make a new variable it's going to be galaxy um level yes mm -hmm. galaxy level and then we're going to do it here. Yes. Copy tile map. And what tile map are we copying? It's cave level. That's some consistency. And then <laughs> naming. Yes. Okay. Wait, what did I name this function? Make a level. That's fine. And then <laughs> what are we going to do? We're going to delete all the platforms. And then enclose everything. That's what we're going to do for now. So we're going to loop over the entire thing. Or would it be make more sense? Actually, I feel like if anything, we should just make a, another tile map and then just place the doors with a for loop. I feel like that'd be easier. Oops. Wait. Okay, so we're just going to copy this one. Maybe we put that in a variable in the future if we have multiple base levels galaxy level we do a loop oh wait we have no way to access no we're not setting the tile map okay yeah that's fine for element of we're going to get an array of all the door door locations the galaxy door locations and then we're going to set 
can we set it in a tile map if it's not our current tile map? Hmm? Uh, we don't have any uh, ways and blocks uh, unsigned already. We actually asked this earlier uh, to manipulate a tile map that is not the current one, the set one. Uh, okay. In theory, we could have like a plus on every single block that takes in a parameter. But that's kind of messy. This is okay. We're going to just do this when we enter a door. Fancy. And then we'll only do it if it doesn't exist. So on B button pressed, if <laughs> no galaxy level. Is this going to be okay? We'll get all the things currently. We'll store them in a... Can I... Can I... If I... If I store this into a list, that won't get changed. Yeah, it shouldn't. Okay. It should just be locations. We'll do yep. this. And then we'll swap the tile map. Oh, that's nice. I like this approach. Yeah. Set, set current tile map to be... Yeah, this will be fine. This will be fine. Set current tile map to be galaxy level. Um, and then we're going to loop over all the kinds or all the locations. Wait, why am I putting this is confused. Um, um, we're going to set the locations. What's up, Joey? I'm just thinking if we're generating this, um, should we move the uh, set galaxy level and set the other one to the uh, on start? Because um, then after they're generated, we can just swap back and forth without even doing any calculations. After the generated. Wait, so so galaxy level is being created in B. Button pressed. Okay, so you're just going to... And then after... Calculate. Sorry? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then after this, we're just going to swap between the two once it exists. Is that okay. what you're saying? I feel like lots of times I don't get what you're saying, and I just assume. Something. No, that that's uh, this is a fine approach too. Uh, like in uh -huh. theory, we just need to build it once. But if you're swap, so if you're swapping back and forth, you wouldn't need to recalculate it. I'm I'm only going but to build it once. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because I want it to be the same every time you go between the two. But good, yeah, I think this will be okay. This is just in time tile map creation. Just in time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be super exciting because Python, right? <laughs> so um <laughs> yes. We're going to do this. And then okay, oh. that looks <laughs> fine. And yeah. then <laughs> what else do we wanna do on our galaxy world? We wanna enclose it. This is my concept. We find like the bounds of the doors and we try to make it like a smaller space where the whitest thing is the doors just to make it feel like a smaller world in the galaxy mm -hmm. yes and then is it um like the the levels are not matching no the... yeah okay yeah yeah cool. yeah this is 3d in arcade basic basically <laughs> <laughs> okay so we'll do a variable um that's like hmm wait do we just have locations we need four locations which is kind of a pain min x max x i think min y to make find the square you know that's like the smallest containing mm. yeah yeah you're right max y we, we hate to see it <laughs> um <laughs> Okay, we're going to do this, max y, and we're going to set it to be the columns, probably. We'll do max min y, it's going to be 0. We're going to do the same things for the other two, and then we're just going to set them correctly when we, well, as we see it, just in time. <laughs> um, total time that rows. And that's going to be max x. Yes. And so here we'll do a check to be like if. If something is less. So if the location, we got to get this one out. 
column is less, no, is less than Uh, Wait, I feel like I did it backwards. These need to be the other way around. I think the min, blah, 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 and then it will work. I think you want like less than the current, but greater than the, less than like the door that you're at, but greater than like the min or something like that, right? Yes. Okay. Wait. Okay. So if we're trying to set, um, if the column is, let's just, okay, let's just pull, let's just pull one of these out and think it through. Okay. So mm -hmm. the max X, if it's greater than the max X, then we're setting it to be the new max X. That's what we're doing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> My goodness. But I think you also need to check against. Against your door right or no is this it's the same door I th wait what do you what do you mean with your door there's one door the one you went through or no you don't i think we're doing this for the entire tile do we need oh okay i see yes so it's not different each door it's just smaller. Yeah, it's just smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yes, maybe we yes. can like cut them off at certain places in the end, but I feel like just two tile mm -hmm. maps and mm -hmm. we'll swap between the two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This okay. makes sense. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. We will do the same thing for this, but for the row and then the Y. Um, Probably I should have, yeah. Mm, map. Y, and this will be the row. Probably should have talked about the concept first before going for it. <laughs> um, no, I think you did. I just misunderstood what the door would be doing. I just feel it's it's hard for me to imagine a world where somebody doesn't know everything about Spelunky too. You know, I have very low empathy <laughs> mm -hmm. for things. And that's like on that. me. I understand, Vivian. Okay, Shannon. Yeah, come on. You got to watch more Spelunky <laughs> 2 content. Okay. <laughs> So now we're wondering why are we doing this? Because we're going, and the reason is we're going to um, surround anything outside of this square with walls and dark darkness. Also, let's set the yes. background color to be purple. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Magic, right? <laughs> um, okay. We're using the purple to be the door color. Certainly, though. Let's. Blue? We'll, we'll switch it. We'll switch it. We'll switch it. Okay. So then this will look cool when we're like, we're doing a, f mm, we're going to loop over. Yes. We're going to loop over all the tiles and set them if it's true. So for index and then another for index. And then uh, we're going to make one of these an X situation. We're going to make another one a Y situation, new variable. Remember when we had trouble doing double for loops <laughs> ages ago? Uh, Minus so one. We're, and we're I gonna lost see, track. Okay, so we're going to see. We're making a bounding box of the, of the walls of the locations it looks like? Yes, and then we're going to see if it's not within it. And if it's not within it, we'll set it. Feel like that would probably be one of the simpler ways to do this <laughs> so if and we're gonna pull out an and and if it's a not probably <laughs> wait no okay we're just gonna we're gonna build it the logical way right if the location x and y Mm, is smaller okay so if x wait my goodness okay if x is less than and we're gonna get our max x and x is greater it should be an equal to probably greater than or equal to less than or equal to min x 
Mm, okay. And we have to do the same thing for the y. And then max y, y, min y. <laughs> <laughs> and this is needs to be another and. And this needs to be a not. <laughs> we'll set. Uh, I'm just fingers crossed that this is right <laughs> at this point. We're going to set it to be, um, let's just do this for now. And we'll do x. We'll do a y. And then we'll set it to be a wall. Did chat say something? I love long blocks. Do you? Because <laughs> I hate then long blocks. We found the right place for you. Yeah, this is, this is, this is scary for me. <laughs> so what we're looking for is we're looking for a wall of pink blocks and then a section of doors in the center. And now let's see what we've got. Nope. Okay, let's let's move to a door section so we'll theoretically be safe if it works. We should be safe here. Oh! <gasps> it is magical! We're amazing at coding! <laughs> Yes. Okay. Nice. Well, well. The pink wall looks really good too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a magical world. Let's let's mm -hmm. let's go again. You know to. Exp yeah, that's fine. We're okay with this. <laughs> nice. So now, what do we do? We hook up the doors, which shouldn't be too bad, um, because they're the tile maps overlap. We don't even have to do doors. It's just tile map switching. Probably. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we got to see here when we push the B button. First off, if we're overlapping with a door. Is that a block we have? Yes. Tile to center. Tile to left of, but you checked center. Oh, yes. Tile to center of Beetle Archaeologist is mm -hmm. a door. Then do we have to see what the current state is to decide Good where state. we swap to yeah okay we'll make a variable in galaxy world we'll set it to be false first and so we'll we'll just for simplicity's sake we'll check this here if in galaxy world e then we'll do this else it's easier so we'll do the else first else gotta set the background color back to black and then we'll set the tile map to b variable cave level <laughs> and then this one is only complicated because we're generating maybe we put this in a function so it's less confusing gener create corresponding galaxy level lucas says nice music nice music uh music music Let's be fair here. nice music which is interesting because i don't hear any music <laughs> lucas please say Somebody more have some like cow theme music going on here i'm looking at the levels it shouldn't be okay <laughs> lucas saying music is not making us feel better <laughs> um i am very concerned <laughs> Um, <laughs> create, do we say create and set so we aren't confused? Mm. And then here we're going to do set current tile map to be galaxy level. Mm -hmm. And this should be fine. We're not going to be worried about the music. <laughs> Our beetle's holding a carrot. So we push, okay, first we get off the door, push B, nothing happens, makes sense. Push B. Nothing happens. Are you changing? Something? So you have to set in Galaxy World in here also, but it should work the first time. Um, 
the other thing is you'll probably need a little bit of a pause just because you'll still be overlapping the door on the other side and still pressing the b button but but doesn't this only fire like... oh once oh yeah hmm should work maybe we'll have the beetle say something ah a door <laughs> <laughs> okay let's do that sprite say ah a door so we'll say it on the b button press and then we'll we'll just do it here first and then we'll mm -hmm. oh this is backwards if in galaxy world yeah. this is backwards oh yeah <laughs> Well, maybe we get rid of the sprites, eh? But, you know, for safety. <laughs> <laughs> like in Vivian's game. Oh, like my Music Mania game? Lucas, I saw your music game. I liked it. Should we import it to this game? <laughs> oh, wait. So let's just check to see if we get brought back in. Wait, this, this is so enclosed. Wow. <laughs> Bluff. Okay, and then we go in here. Okay, that doesn't work. You had a set it to true inside the set it to true. I wasn't. Oh, right. Set um, this one to be false. I think false. we need to have that in the other branch too. Set this one to be true. Good call. And then let's see. Oops. Jump. Don't do we have a, uh, we have a current town map block. I guess we could do that. Could just Whoa. check. Oh, it's so enclosed. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. What do you want to do with the crotal? Oh, since we're keeping track to the of the references, then equals oh. between the two would work. So Instead you could say of... like, if current tile map equals, but it's fine to keep a boolean That's variable true. that is maybe depending, arguably more readable. Maybe we'll want it for other things in the future. Oh. You have the variable now, so you can use that for anything. That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well. What time is it? It's fifty nine. So maybe we call maybe maybe we call it here. <laughs> this is what we wanted to do. Um, wait, Lucas, if you want a link, please, I'll send you the link on Sandra Arduino. Um, thanks, everybody. Wait, let's name this game. We haven't okay. Mm -mm. Bug Archie, I Bug Explorer explores <laughs> the world. That's what we're calling it. Wait, let's get it in front. Wait, <laughs> let's get in front of the door. Oh, it's almost um an acronym for Beetle. <laughs> Beetle Bug Explorer. No, 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 no. Like it's B E E T and then W. Ah. Like W, not. Bug Ex explores uh, the the large Earth. Oh, large earth. <laughs> earth. There's no doors in this. Why not? <laughs> I don't. Is there an A word that fits with explorers? Wait, is that a oh, wrong beetle? <laughs> oh, music. Yeah. Oh, we need the music. We'll do that. We'll do that some other time if we do it. Um, Hopefully there's doors in your. Okay, there's. Uh, hopefully there's doors in the share link. But anyway, I'm Vivian. I'm at Live Cheerful on the Make Code Forums. I'm Joe at J Wonder on the Make Code Forums. I'm Shannon at Shakao on the Make Code Forums. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.